angels we have heard all night sweetly singing o oh, r the plains and the mountains in reply echoing their joyous strain
Trust you marry gentlemen and nothing new to say. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day to save us all from Satan's power and we were gone astray. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and At those tidings, rejoiced much in mind, and left their flocks of feeding in tempest, storm, and wind, and went to Bethlehem straightway, the Son of God to find. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort. And Good morning. morning. Welcome to worship this morning at St. Paul in Hubbard Lake. It is a joy to have all of you here this morning. Uh, This morning is probably one of my more favorite worship services out of the year, and it's not because I don't have to preach, uh, but it's because we get to hear the gospel of Jesus in a simple way. Sometimes we overcomplicate the good news of Jesus, and so it's uh, exciting to have the children of our Sunday school here with us this morning to share with us the word of God and bring us the star of wonder and the wonder of Christmas. Um, Everything that you need to follow along, you can find in your bulletin. Just one note, um, early on in the worship service, if you have a bulletin, there's a section that says the star litany. We did not print that in the bulletin uh, because it was extremely lengthy. But that will be available on the screens for you to follow along um, that way. Um, everything else will be, will be printed up there for you to follow along during our time of worship. And I believe that was the only pre-service announcement. So let's take a minute to rise, welcome those that we are worshiping with, and share the peace of Christ. Peace of Christ. Peace of Christ.
Peace Christ. How are you? Good morning. Good to see you. Morning. Peace of Christ. Peace of Christ. Good morning. Peace of Christ. Peace of Christ. Peace of Christ. I saw that little hitch in the walk. Peace of Christ. Peace of Christ. Brothers and sisters, you may be seated for our opening hymn, selected verses from O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord. Praise his name. Proclaim his salvation day after day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous deeds among all peoples. We come sincerely we come with thanksgiving, we come adoring, we come rejoicing. We come in the name of God, for great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. O come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord.
With hope in the Lord's promises of renewal by his word and spirit, let us together confess our sins to him. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. O Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my pleas for mercy. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, I would have no hope. But with you there is forgiveness. Therefore, we place our trust in you. Restore us, Lord God, and set us free from our sins. Renew us in your hope that we may wait for your salvation. Because of your steadfast love for us in Christ, redeem us from all our iniquities. Amen. As we wait for Jesus' final coming, we place our hope and our confidence in the promises of his word and find our home in the presence of his spirit, confessing our sins and turning away from them through lives of repentance. We are assured again this day of the Lord's steadfast love and plentiful redemption for us. As a called and ordained servant of Christ and by his authority, I therefore forgive you all of your sins in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We remain standing for our hymn.
You may be seated. A star lit me. We have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. Matthew 2, verse 2. two great lights, the greater light to govern the day and the lesser light to govern the night. He also made the, the stars. God determined the number of stars and calls them each by name, Psalms 147, verse 4. Christ our Lord has said, I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright morning star. Revelation 22, verse 16. He is my savior, he is my light, and my salvation. He is the way for my life, the truth in whom I trust, and the life that I shall lead. I believe Jesus is Lord. says to me, Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. Isaiah 43, verse 1. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place. Psalm 8, verse 2. What is man? Yet in Christ, God looks at us and says, His lights shining for him in a dark, dark world. God has called all of us to be lights and calls us to shine like the stars in the heavens that you may become blameless and pure, children of God, without fault in a crooked and depraved generation in which you shine like stars in the universe as you hold out the word of life. Philippians chapter 2, 15 and 16. Lord, shine in us brightly and shine through us to others. Amen.
Lord be with you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, bright morning star, we worship you this day with praise and thanksgiving for the light with which you fill the earth, for the direction you give for us to follow, and for the truth on which we stand firmly, for the opportunity to shine to others as you shine in and through us, we glorify your name. Bless all our Christmas festivities and fill them with your presence among us as we celebrate your birth. You are our Lord. You are our Savior. In your name we pray. Amen. It's time. A couple thousand years ago, about this time of year, things were no doubt getting very exciting up in heaven. The word was out that God's promise made thousands of years before and remade many, many times. This promise of a savior was ready to be fulfilled. Every star, every planet, every galaxy was in place, as usual. Every comet was ready to streak if called upon, and God had one very special star ready to shine. It was time for Christ to be born. It's time for decorating. It's time, dear friends, it's time. It's time, the choir's rehearsing. It's time, they tune the chimes. It's time, the virgin's ready. It's time, the days are few. There is no turning back. It's time, God's promised son is due. Come on, my friends, let's hurry. The heavens soon will glow. With dazzling, awesome, wondrous light, a star like fireworks show. How shall the heavens glisten? How shall they be made bright? How can the, sky, how can the skies be lit to chase away the night? Perhaps some burning candles would set the skies on fire. The warmth and lovely glowing could all the world inspire. How about a million candles, or maybe three or four? Could decorate and dazzle like never seen before? Let's trim the heavenly candles and light their brilliant flame. The light, would, the light will shine for Jesus, his loveliness exclaim. Getting ready. But it wasn't candles that lit the sky that first Christmas. Not that a million candles wouldn't be lovely. Rather, it was something else, something far more stellar. The stars were ready. The stars were really set. The Son of God would soon be born. The heavens would be lit. The heavens would be perfect. The heavens would be bright. The heavens would be filled with stars on God's most holy night. 
The angels would sing loudly and sing they surely will, and when they sing, the skies will shine with starlit astro thrills. The Milky Way will glisten and the constellations glow, and in this starlight splendor, the Bethlehem star will show. The planets will shine gorgeous and comets streak the heavens. Against the skyline, he'll be born, the morning star is given. The sky would look terrific, the heavens would be bright, the heavens would be marvelous for his birth Christmas night. So let us get things ready, so let us get things right, so let us see the stars arranged this coming Christmas night. Back on that first Christmas night, the skies no doubt looked very special. The stars shone brightly to delight the baby Jesus and anyone else who might look up to the heavens. People have looked to the heavens throughout the history of humankind, and they have identified all kinds of images and objects that stars form. What kind of stars might we find in God's heavens, special stars that can guide and inspire us? Let's see if God's word has some possible suggestions. Stars above, shining symbols of God's love. Starry beacons in the night, giving guidance, giving light. Seen through God's own telescope, stars of promise, stars of hope. Galatians 5, verse 22 and 23 says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such thing there is no law. For summer days, girls and boys, I am so down and stray. Every star will come with perfect sun, a star of hope in his sight. Twinkle, twinkle, stars above, shining symbols of God's love. Starry beacons in the night. Giving guidance, giving light, seen through God's own telescope, stars of promise, stars of hope. Patience, under stress and pressure, is my star's most awesome measure. And compassion, care, and distress, all godly care. With his bounty, God would bless us. Here's the star of all God's splendor. Twinkle, twinkle, stars above, shining symbols of God's love. Starry beacons in the night. Giving guidance, giving light, seen through God's own telescope, 
stars of promise, stars of hope. This faithful star stands as a source of guidance for those who stray off course. Here's a star of gentleness, a sign of God's sweet, soft caress. to make us whole. Twinkle, twinkle, stars above, shining symbols of God's love. Starry beacons in the night, shining symbols of God's light. Seen through God's own telescope, stars of promise, stars of hope. Everything is ready. The heavens truly are beautiful. God's word tells us that God named every single star and put it in its place one by one. But God didn't just stop with the regular old skies and the normal stars that filled them. He had another bright idea. The stars are in place and the heavens are bright. It's time that the promise be kept here tonight. Wait, just a moment. There's just one more star that needs to be placed where the other stars are. A star that is normal, more bigger, more bright. A star that will stand as a beacon tonight. A star that is bigger, a star that is grand, a star that says God is alive and alive. A star that says promise and hope from above. A star that will guide to God's manger of love. And then came the land, the moment that is instant in time, when God's Son was born and the heavens would shine. The heavens were ready, the countdown began. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. was fulfilled. Jesus was born. Jesus, the bright morning star.
boy panda so sweet and so mild. Hey is amazing, God's turn is our king. R is for royal, his prizes is red. The heavens were surely beautiful that night. The skies were splendid with light. But once God's son, the baby Jesus, was born, it was obvious there was no star brighter than the baby himself. Jesus was the perfect child, God's Christmas star to be sure. And now with all alleluias and celebrating praise, we come as God's dear faithful and praise him all our days.
announcements. We have good news. Jesus is born. Together we confess our faith boldly in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen.
We rise for the prayer of the church. And in our prayers for this morning, we have a number of prayer requests. I will just uh, briefly list them. Uh, for uh, Sandy Koenig, healing for her, healing also for Georgia Thompson, um, for uh, Francis White and the White family um, as uh, they mourned the death of Teresa, um, for uh, my family and for um, my grandmother, especially as they mourn the death uh, of uh, my grandfather, Marcus, for Wayne Dean, uh, healing for Edith Colleen and Alice Muggy, for Eldon Grabo, for uh, Heidi Stowski, who has hip surgery coming up, for Keith Rich, who is recovering from surgery, and then uh, Thanksgiving for continued healing for Wayne Brandt. Let us pray for the whole people of God in Christ Jesus and to all people according to their needs. Restore us, O God. Let your face shine that we may be saved. As you led Joseph like a flock, so now by your son lead us into straight paths. Bring us out of the bondage of our sin and plant us securely in your eternal promise. Lord, in your mercy. Gracious God, you sent John the Baptist to herald the coming Messiah and to proclaim a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. In these latter days, you send pastors to proclaim the same repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And through them, lead your people to trust in your salvation. Look with kindness upon all pastors and teachers that they may be diligent and faithful heralds of your beloved Son. Lord, in your mercy. God of all comfort, your word alone endures forever. The nations of the world come and go before you. Even kings and rulers are like grass before your breath. Preserve us from placing our trust in princes and mortal men. Give us rulers who will rule after your good pleasure, keeping order and protecting life, that we may live peaceably in godly quietness and honesty. Lord, in your mercy. Give ear, O shepherd of Israel, to our prayers, especially for those we remember this morning, for Sandy and Georgia, for Francis and the White family, for the Coon and the Llewellyn family, for Wayne and Edith, for Alice, Eldon, Heidi, Rick, Keith, for Wayne, and for all those we name in our hearts. Give healing and courage and perseverance to all who cry to you, that they may find comfort in your enduring word and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life with Christ Jesus. Lord, in your mercy. Father, we know that you are not slow in keeping your promises. We thank you for your patience. Do not take your spirit from us when we stray from your commandments but convict us of our sin and draw us back to you in repentance. Lord, in your mercy. Lord, as we in the church on earth wait for the coming of your Son, we remember all the saints who have gone before us and now rest in your presence. Keep us safe in your arms until you gather your people together in the new heavens and the new earth in which righteousness dwells. Lord, in your mercy. All these things and whatever else you know that we need, grant to us, Father, for the sake of him who died and rose again and now lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. And may the light of Christ, the bright morning star, ever shine upon you, guide you in his way, and give you hope. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and shine like stars in the universe as you hold out the word of life. Amen. Alleluia. Amen. We remain standing for our closing hymn, Joy to the World.
You may be seated. Um, first and foremost, um, I think it is appropriate to give thanks to God and to um, our Sunday school children, to our confirmands, and to our Sunday school teachers for leading us in worship this morning and for bringing us the good news of Jesus. Let's give them a thanks. They did a phenomenal job, and uh, it's a message that we need to hear, that we carry the light of Jesus with us in a dark and dying world, and we need to, to share that good news with those around us. Um, a couple other of announcements, of course, uh, on the back page, you'll see things that are happening this week. Um, one announcement that I was asked to make, um, the quilt that um, appeared at the bazaar and has been out in the narthex for the last several weeks is going to be um, raffled today during the voters' assembly meeting. Um, if, you're, if you're drawn and you're not here, that's fine. We'll get in contact with you. Um, and uh, we certainly want to give thanks to uh, Jerry Lightfoot, um, who made and donated that quilt um, to uh, the Board of Fellowship for them to raffle off. Um, so please take note of that. Um, the Giving Tree still has three tags on it. Three tags. There's a lot of y'all here today. I think we can get rid of those three tags. Um, how that works is if you grab a tag, it'll tell on there um, the age um, and whether it's a boy or a girl. Um, all you have to do is buy the gift on there. You wrap it up, put the tag on the outside, and uh, we are supporting 15 families in our community that are tied to three of our local elementary schools. Um, and so they will be receiving that. Um, I think next week is when everything needs to be here by. Uh, so please take note of that. There is a voters' assembly meeting today um, after a time of fellowship, so um, we hope that you will join us for that. Christmas poinsettias are also available. Um, I talked to Monica on Friday, and she said not too many people have gotten poinsettias, um, so or poinsettias. Um, if you would like one or two or five, um, and you would like to uh, purchase those in honor or in memory, um, there is a form in the back. Uh, they are ten dollars a plant. Um, there's information in here about the, the sleigh ride event, which is coming back. It's been on a hiatus for a couple of years, um, but it is coming back. Um, I know I'm excited about that because I get to throw snowballs at little children, um, <laughs> which is always exciting. Um, and uh, it's just, it was a great, fun time of fellowship that we had, what, three, four years ago. Um, and so we, we hope that you can join us for that as well. Um, lastly, a, a, just a thank you from uh, myself, from my wife, my children, from my family for the prayers, the cards, uh, the, um, uh, the messages that you gave uh, of comfort during this time uh, as we mourn the death of, of my grandfather. Certainly a difficult time, um, but we, we love you, we appreciate you, and, and we covet those prayers. Go in peace, serve the Lord. <laughs>